Over the last two years, there have been many dark versions of Mickey Mouse that have been introduced into Friday Night Funkin'. In this video, I've compiled all those versions of Mickey Mouse into one video and I explain their backstories and fair warning, they are very, very dark. If you don't want your image of Mickey ruined, you might as well click off now. The first version of Mickey that we're going to talk about is Mouse AVI, aka Sue Mouse. So the original Mouse AVI is from a popular creepypasta where Mickey is in black and white and he's actually walking down the street looking very sad. The reason that this version of Mickey looks so sad is because his wife Minnie actually cheated on him and to make matters even worse she decided to cheat on him with his worst enemy who is Pete. And if that wasn't bad enough, Donald and Goofy both get into a car accident and they are not able to survive their injuries. Pluto dies of old age. The one good thing in all this though is that he does still have his half-brother Oswald who does try to help him, but he and Mickey end up getting into a very bad argument and Oswald trying to get him out of his slump says some very harsh words, gives him a lot of tough love, and eventually they end up having a falling out where Oswald leaves and never comes back. The only thing Mickey has left is his career, so he tries his best to put on a fake smile for Walt Disney and also his horde of kid fans, but trying to continue put on this facade ends up making him go a little bit insane and one day he can't take this pain anymore so he ends up going and buying what's called a insta kill drug because he doesn't want to be on this planet any longer and this is why he has the nickname unalive yourself mouse now the next version of mickey we're going to talk about is the wednesday infidelity mickey and a lot of people think that mouse avi and wednesday infidelity are the same character but they're actually not Infidelity Mouse was highly influenced by Mouse AVI, but he also took a lot of inspiration from the old newspaper clippings, Mr. Slickers and the Egg Robbers. And this is what makes Infidelity Mouse's story just a little bit different. While Minnie cheats on Mouse AVI with his mortal enemy Pete, the Minnie in the Infidelity Mouse mod doesn't actually cheat, but she does end up flirting with Mr. Slickers and eventually they run off together and we assume they become a couple. So while the outcome is still terrible for Mickey, it's not quite as bad as the Mouse AVI story. But with that being said, everything else that happens stayed the same. So Donald and Goofy are still dead, Pluto is still dead, he still loses all his friends and his brother Oswald. But while Mouse AVI tried to take his own life, Infidelity Mouse instead turns to drugs. And while he takes these drugs because he thinks it will dull his pain, what it actually ends up doing is just making him lose his mind. Now one thing that is notable about the Infidelity Mod though is at the end of it before Boyfriend goes into the portal, we do see Mickey holding a pistol to his head, which could mean that he is still trying to unalive himself. And this will lead us right into our next Mickey, which is going to be Soft Mickey. And just a fair warning for anybody who thinks Soft Mickey is going to have it any easier than the other ones, he's definitely not. Soft Mickey goes through just as much trauma as the other Mickeys that I've talked about, except that he's actually able to be in touch with his feelings. What I mean by this is that he doesn't try to dull his emotions by taking drugs, and like the other Mickey, he doesn't try to go get an insta-kill drug immediately. He continues working for Walt Disney and trying to provide entertainment for his fans, but as I said, he wasn't able to keep himself from crying and showing those emotions. And of course, Walt Disney didn't want to hear any of that. He just wanted Mickey to get on stage and perform and give the fans what they wanted. And I think that this is what causes Soft Mickey to want to take his own life. And the only reason that he is not successful with this is because Soft Boyfriend and Soft Pico actually hear him crying backstage and they come to check on him and they are legitimately concerned about his safety. Soft Mickey is able to see that there are people in the world that still actually care about him and are willing to stop and make sure that he is okay. And this is why we see Soft Mickey burst into tears during the mod and why he doesn't end up taking his own life. Now the next version of Mickey that we're going to talk about is going to just be called Mouse and he is basically an experiment that was designed to look like Mickey Mouse and realistically kind of does. Now what's interesting about this version of Mickey is that he is the most successful out of all the experiments that were made. The only issue that he has though is that he is super violent and aggressive. Boyfriend and girlfriend come into contact with this version of Mickey when girlfriend buys a Mickey Mouse cassette from a guy selling them on the street. And when she puts this cassette into the TV, it actually teleports them to this Mickey Mouse clubhouse where they see this version of Mickey who seems to be very friendly at first, but as always in Friday Night Funkin', he turns out to be completely insane. In the Versus Mouse mod, we also get to see the Mickey Mouse version just called Experiment. And this is basically all the scrapped versions of Mickey that just didn't make it. And it basically acts as a guard for this clubhouse and attacks boyfriend once he actually escapes from Mouse. 
A fun fact about experiment is that a lot of people think that mouse and experiment are the same entity. And technically, when the mod first came out or was being designed, they were supposed to be the same entity. But since in the lore, there were so many scrapped versions of the experimental Mickey, it made sense that one of them could still be somewhat functional and count as a guard. Now, a version of Mickey that a lot of people don't know about in Friday Night Funkin' is the versus Mickey Mouse Clubhouse Mickey. And this is where you are basically rapping against a Mickey Mouse plush doll. And it is definitely one of the weirder Mickey Mouse mods out there. A fun fact about this character is that it's actually based off a real life plushie. It's the Disney Mickey Mouse and Friends Mickey Mouse medium 17 inch plush doll and you can usually get it from like Target and you can probably find it on eBay. Next on our list is probably going to be one of the more popular knockoff versions of Mickey Mouse and that's going to be Monkey which is basically like a parody slash dumb version of Mickey Mouse and Monkey was created by Senior Palo which is the same person that created the Spooky Boys and just like Mouse ABI Monkey was married to a mouse named Momi, which is supposed to be the parody version of Minnie Mouse, who also ended up leaving him. But unlike Minnie, she doesn't actually cheat on Monkey. I think she leaves him because he's described as being a coward, he's not very smart, he's definitely violent, especially when he panics, and he used to torture her all the time, so he wasn't a very good partner. But with that being said, Monkey did have a few examples where he actually did some good. I guess showing of this would be when he actually saves Christmas from Krampus. It shows us that Monkey isn't necessarily all bad. The next Mickey that we need to talk about is going to be the photo negative Mickey. And he is originally from a creepypasta called Abandoned by Disney. And it has an interesting backstory. It basically talks about how Disney once made a resort called Mowgli's Palace. And they did this in North Carolina on the Emerald Isles. The resort obviously took a lot of inspiration from the Jungle Book and the foliage around the place kind of reaffirmed that. But this resort never really had a chance to take off because a lot of people in North Carolina disapproved of them even trying to make the resort in the first place. Many people in North Carolina didn't like the idea of this corporation taking over the Emerald Isles or their land in general. But even though people were obviously opposed to this, Disney went ahead and built the resort anyway. But it didn't stay open for very long. The entire resort was just completely shut down suddenly. And nobody could really find any information as to why because the company wasn't giving out any details and the locals wouldn't talk about it at all either. But of course, our nosy protagonist in the creepypasta would not let this idea die and he managed to hunt down exactly where this resort was and went out there to record any clues that might have been left. Now our protagonist finds exactly what you would expect considering that the park had been closed down for years. It was in disarray, a bunch of foliage had grown up around the place and it looked like it had been pretty much looted. But that is not the only thing he found. When he walks into a room, he actually sees a bunch of what he thinks are just mascot costumes. But he realizes that he's in trouble when these mascots actually stand up. Our protagonist doesn't know if these things are demons, zombies, or just animatronics that have gone awry, but he knows that he's in trouble and he needs to get out of there. And that creepypasta is how we got the game called Five Nights at Treasure Island, which was obviously based strongly off Five Nights at Freddy's, just that it deals with an abandoned Disney resort where evil Disney characters lurk around instead of just animatronics. Now, a couple of interesting facts about Photo Negative Mickey is that in the creepypasta that he's from, he could actually take off his head and start spewing out this yellow puke and for some reason even to this day people still think that that puke is actually blood next up on our list is a very creepy character named mr smiles and he has a interesting very dark backstory now mr smiles used to be your average normal dude on the surface but when you pair a bit too closely he was a bit strange he would talk to himself in low whispers and say some pretty off-putting things he was also a dentist and would pretend to slip so that he could cut the insides of his patient's mouth and claim it was an accident. He also had a very short temper, which means that he would rage very easily. Although there were a couple of things that could calm him down though. He loved the old school Mickey Mouse cartoons and he used to have a Mickey plushie that he would carry around with him all the time when he was a boy. And strangely, even though he is now a grown man, he still carries the toy with him wherever he goes. Now somehow, Mr. Smiles was able to get a wife, but he was very neglectful to her. And in order to get back at him, she decided to cheat on him, which was a huge mistake. Now I assume she wanted Wanted to get caught on some level because she tells the guy to come over to her house and allows him to stay long enough for Mr. Smiles to get home from work and catch them. And when he does actually see them, he is furious. Mr. Smiles and his wife started to get into a big argument and during the argument, his wife actually started getting physical. She even pushes him into a wall and starts to degrade him verbally. And this seems to be when Mr. Smiles actually snaps. He grabs a metal rod from the wall and unalives his wife. I won't go into detail, but it was very bloody. 
Now, once his wife was gone, Mr. Smiles actually felt great. He felt as though he had finally found his life's calling. And needless to say, the guy who had the affair with his wife did not make it out of the house. With his newfound passion, he decided to start kidnapping people and then taking them to an abandoned house where he would use his dental tools to inflict pain on them. Now, I'll let your imagination run wild with this one, but we all know how much the dentist can hurt even when you are numb and the dentist isn't trying to hurt you. Imagine if they really wanted to cause you pain. Now, Mr. Smiles was able to get away with these crimes for a few years, but was eventually caught and sentenced to be unalived. But even when his physical body was gone, his spirit was so foul and restless that he wouldn't stay gone. He came back to the world taking the form of Mickey Mouse, but with teeth all over his body. Now he wanders the earth looking for more smiles to take and add to his collection. Now this psychopath does have one redeeming quality and that is that he will only go after people who are 15 years or older, meaning that if you're younger than that, he will actually leave you alone. If you are under the age of 15, put I'm safe down in the comments. And if you're 15 or older, just put a skull emoji down in the comments. People who didn't make it this far into the video will have no idea what you guys are talking about. Now a sad fact that goes along with this is that when he was alive, he actually really loved kids and those are the only people that he would not harm. And he actually thought that he was going to have children one day with his now ex-wife, but obviously she cheated on him and ruined that fantasy. The next character that I want to talk about in this mod is going to be Julian or aka Monkey. And this character is interesting because even though he looks kind of like a doll or a Muppet version of Mickey, it is actually a real creature there. Now this character is actually based off a Mickey lookalike that was seen in a film called The March of the Wooden Soldier back in 1934. The fun fact here is that Julian was actually a monkey in a Mickey costume. An interesting fact here is that a lot of people are actually mad that they used the real monkey because a lot of people feared for the monkey's safety. They said that the suit didn't seem to have any holes in it or any way for the monkey to breathe effectively so they were really actually worried about the animal. From my understanding though, everything turned out okay and the monkey was fine. A couple of other things that I want to point out here as well for this song is that the background and the man that's in a cat costume playing the cello are also directly from March of the Wooden Soldier as well. And I like how in this mod they actually took it basically point from point from the movie. And another fun fact about this song specifically is that Julian originally was going to be rejected as just a scrapped character, but it turned out that they liked his ideas so much that they went ahead and fleshed it out and gave him his own songs, which obviously turned out very well. The next character we see in this mod is called Cheddar, and Cheddar is interesting because he's not based off any type of creepypasta or urban legend. Cheddar is based off a piece of artwork that was found on display at a school, and it was basically this clay version of Mickey that was stuck onto a wooden plank. And inscribed in the wood was actually the words, Father, I crave cheddar. And I think the reason that this Mickey stood out so much is because the creator made his body so lanky and his mouth so elongated that people just were so disturbed by the image itself. And in all honesty, I would love to see people do a creepy pasta or just some cool artwork on this character. The next character on our list is Imposter Mouse, and I definitely didn't expect to see an Among Us version of Mouse ABI in this mod. One thing that I do find kind of interesting about this character though is that he has a crack in his visor and if you look into it, all you see is basically a void. Usually with the imposters, if there's a crack or a cut in their suit, you can actually see like the alien underneath that. But when imposter mouths, you actually see just nothing but darkness, which in my opinion is much more terrifying. Imposter mouse kind of reminds me of the void Sonic, where basically if you get caught by him, you're just stuck in a void and forced to float there forever, which is horrifying. The next character that we have on our list is going to be called Relapse Mouse. And this character is interesting because he's actually from a creepypasta game by the same name. Now, unlike the regular Mouse ABI, this version of Mickey goes crazy because one of his best friends named Daisy Duck actually unalives herself. After she does this, Mickey and some of his friends end up going to a deep depression. One day, Mickey gets up and decides to go for a walk, but he ends up taking a shoddy with him, and I think you know what he does with it. Instead of wanting to harm himself, he basically wants to harm other people. A very dark game if the mod alone doesn't give it away. The last piece of war I want to cover in this mod is actually the Malfunction song, and this is the one where we see the Black Cube that's battling against Boyfriend. Now, if I wouldn't have spoken to the developer, I would have had no idea about the lore for this one. So shout out to Hockey for actually speaking with me. But basically, this cube is Mickey. Apparently, Mickey fell into a hole that basically took him to a different universe where the world is basically pixelated. And it seems like he was in there for so long that he slowly started turning into this pixelated creature that eventually just turned into one big cube. Now, apparently, Boyfriend is just wandering around like he normally does, and he ends up finding the same hole. And of course, he jumps in because it's Boyfriend. 
Now, when Mickey realizes that Boyfriend is in this universe, he just assumes that Boyfriend is the reason that he is in so much pain, the reason that he is this pixelated monster now. So Mickey goes after Boyfriend. And the developer made sure to tell me that this is why the song is so hard. Mickey basically believes that this is all Boyfriend's fault, so he's trying super hard to kill him, aka this is why this song is ridiculous. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to check out this video on the screen here. Subscribe to Daddy to become a member of the Orse Force, and we'll see you tomorrow with another video. Peace, peace.